I'd like to thank you all for coming out to what is a historic day in the seven-year history of the Reading Royals. I'd like to particularly thank our fans and season ticket holders that took time out of their busy day to come down. Your presence today reinforces what I believe since my first day here in Reading. We have the most loyal, passionate, and dedicated fans in all of minor professional hockey. Before we start, I'd like to take a moment to thank and recognize the Los Angeles Kings and Manchester Monarchs, in particular Dean Lombardi, Ron Hextall, Jeff Solomon, Hubin McDonough, and the entire Kings and Monarchs organization for seven great years as our primary affiliate. Their dedication and commitment to the Royals and to hockey in Reading has been a cornerstone in the building of the success of our organization, both on and off, in, on, on and off the ice, and for that and so much mo more, we owe a great deal of thanks. It is my distinct pleasure to officially usher in a new era of Royals hockey, the new Royal Blue, and announce that we have entered into a new primary affiliation and partnership with the Toronto Maple Leafs and Toronto Marlies. From today forward, we the Royals will now be the ECHL, affi ECHL affiliate of what is unquestionably one of, one of, if not, the premier organizations in the history of professional hockey. What does this mean for the Royals organization? First and foremost, we look forward to the challenge of helping young players within the Toronto system advance their careers but just as important for our team and our city and our fans, we believe that this relationship will provide us with the best opportunity to give our fans what they want and deserve, an ECHL championship. We're excited about the partnership, and I emphasize the word partnership, and our commitment to working with the Maple Leafs and developing a winning culture here in Reading. One need only look at the success that the Maple Leafs had in their partnership in Columbia last season, particularly their playoff run, as evidence of their commitment to developing players and winning at the ECHL level, I truly believe that we found a great partner. For those of you that have invested your, invested your time and your money in our signature purple, black, silver, and white, I have some great news. Other than incorporating the Maple Leafs and Marley's logos into our third purple jerseys, which you can see right here, and replacing uh, the, Kings and the Kings and Monarchs logos, the Royals will remain the Reading Royals, our uniforms will not change, our logo will not change, our colors will not change, and by the way, we are having a huge store sale across the street, so feel free to invest some more of that money. <laughs> the Kings and Monarchs will continue to be involved with the Royals as well, both in an ownership role and as a participating affiliate. We greatly look forward to continuing the strong working relationship that we've built over the past seven years. Before I turn the podium over to Reed Mitchell, Manager of Hockey Operations for the Maple Leafs and Marlies, I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone involved in making this historic day happen. Our owners, SMG and AEG, for allowing us this opportunity by providing our organization with every necessary resource to build what has become the premier organization in the ECHL. Rod Pasma, the Senior Vice President of Hockey Operations for the ECHL, for his expert matchmaking in putting the Royals and the Maple Leafs together. Jeff Jackson, Assistant General Manager of the Maple Leafs, and Mike Penny, Director of Pro Scouting for the Maple Leafs, for identifying the opportunity in Reading, and honestly, more importantly, uh, dealing with me over the last seven weeks um, trying to get this done. I haven't been particularly easy to work with. Um, and uh, most of all, I want to thank you, the fans, without whom all of this wouldn't be possible. Uh, to quote Mark Thompson, you are what we do, we love what we do, particularly when the outcome turns out this way. Welcome, everyone, to the new Royal Blue. Thanks very much, Gordon. Well, it's a real pleasure for me to be here today on behalf of our organization. Uh, we are extremely excited in Toronto to uh, officially begin our new affiliation with the Royals and your city. Um, we are blessed to have a great affiliate in the American League level of the Marlies that are based in Toronto. And now we are equally as blessed to have uh, the Royals in uh, what we like to call Leaf Nation. So welcome to our family, Leaf Nation. Uh, this organization has a great reputation amongst the hockey community. And when we saw a fit here, we wanted to jump on it. So we are really pleased to join forces uh, with your club, Gordon. Uh, we feel very comfortable placing our young players in this franchise and this community. And we are very hopeful they'll make a real positive impact both on and off the ice here. Another real positive when we were trying to uh, get an affiliate partner was, uh, frankly, your location. Us in Toronto are, are not very far away, so our management and staff, uh, you will see them here in the Sovereign Centre, I would say, quite often. Now, all, not all our schedules have been set for the year yet, but uh, 
It would not be uncommon to see our general manager, Cliff Fletcher, our assistant GM, uh, Jeff Jackson, our new uh, director of player personnel, Al Coates, uh, director of pro scouting, Mike Penny, and our director of uh, development, Dallas Eakins, uh, in the uh, Sovereign Center here. I'm sure you'll you see them on uh, certain nights uh, as they'll be keeping tabs on all our prospects. Plus, uh, a newest member to our staff who was hired officially yesterday. Uh, if you're hockey fans, you'll be familiar with the name Joe Neuendijk, and he's been uh, appointed as senior special, uh, i got to get this right, special advisor to our general manager. So he will be uh, working with the NHL club, the American League club, obviously the Royals here, and uh, into uh, our junior and college prospects. So uh, like uh, Gordon was referring to, we want a, uh, a winning environment for all our teams, and we feel that, that uh, we have a great uh, chance for success here. Uh, winning creates winners, and that's really what we're looking for. So uh, uh, on behalf of the Maple Leafs, we're really looking forward to a long, positive uh, relationship uh, between our two clubs. So thank you very much for having me and all your hospitality. It's great to be here, and we look forward to uh, opening night. Thank you. It's going to be a, a great new era for us, and um, everybody think blue. The new royal blue. Have a great day. Thank you.